I like the fact that we ourselves got the answer. Um, Mr. Schmidt didn't kind of tell us everything. We could explore what worked and what didn't. Part of my goal is to get kids excited and to really experience engineering in a way that's meaningful to them. In a perfect world, I have equal numbers of girls and guys coming out saying, I want to be an engineer. We learn together, but we assess separately. So students, they have a common experience that they can discuss, but then their analysis falls back on them. Rigor is one of the educational terms du jour right now, um, not to be flip, but how do we make that real for students? How do we make it meaningful? Um, that's, that's the meat of the matter and the art of our craft. Seeing Ken's openness to rigor, embracing it as an educator and making sure it rings true for his students, demonstrates the first and most important quality of a rigorous classroom. Rigor requires rigor. If I want true rigor from my students, I have to start by thinking rigorously about my planning process. It's supposed to be hard. I believe rigor is messy, but I don't believe it's unpredictable. If I've planned properly, I don't, I don't worry about the mess because I've planned, I will get a predictable result. I will move students in a very predictable way through the learning process. So when the mess happens, you're not, you're not concerned about it.